You are here, moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are ye, mending broken hearts, mending broken hearts. I worship you. I worship you, Lord. You are ye, moving in this place. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. You are here. Turning lives around. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. Light is the thought, my God. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't It never stop. Can you declare that? Declare it on yourself. And even when I don't see it to work in, it never stops. It never stop. Even when I don't see it. Come on now. I'm not moved by what I see. You never stop. You never stop. In my career, declare that even when I don't see it. Come on, declare that. You know, the Holy Ghost party has started. You never stop. In my finances, come on, declare it. In my health, in my health, come on now. In my ministry, come on, declare it. In my business, come on, declare it. In my relationship.
Clap your hands, all ye people. Clap your hands, all ye people. Even when I come on, Talema Sute. Aradik attends the fastik at Ashtalahad. In your business, in your academics, in that family challenge, in what you have been believing for. Even when I, even when I don't say, you never stop. In your destiny, Gather here tonight, today is about to commence in a second, and I want you to set your expectation loose. I want you to come ready, just be ready. You can put your phones in your bag now. Now, of course, I, I know there are no people here who will take people's things, so if you try it, but something is about to envelope this room something that will come upon your life career advancement business advancement now watch this everyone watch this watch this now can you imagine if god does for you in two years what he has done for the new in two years think about it if God does for you in two years, what he has done for the new as a church in two years. A two-year-old church doing things like a 10-year-old church. Look at the places 
that the Lord has opened up in two years. Now, if you thought you saw something in 2021, ay, 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 ay. what you will see. What happened in 2020, 2020 was um, what God was doing with us was to hide us in. It was the year of going back. And I remember during the next conference, if you listen to the messages very well, all many of the messages was obscurity, 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 hiding. 21, 2021 as a church. <laughs> this nation is about to hit time bombs. And you're going to be part of it. And that's why I want to encourage you. Celebrate what God is doing in your church. Talk about it. Put it out. Invite people. Tell people. You want to be a part of this army. You want to be a part of what God is doing here. Are you ready? Ah, la, 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 la. Unraveling of 2021 for some of you. Unraveling. Some of you don't even know what you have in you. When hands are being laid, when pastors go around laying hands, when they speak words to you, 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 you would enter into dimensions. Are you ready? Bless the name of the Lord. Set a fire that would mean my soul that, that I can't contain, that, that, that I can't control. control. I want more of you, love. I want more of you. Raise your hands. Set a fire Listen, that would my soul. let me explain that word. Sometimes when we sing that song, we only sing, we think we sing it when it's time to lay hands or uh, when fire wants to fall on us and that fire we think is something that falls on our head or something when you say you want the more of God it means it ejects out your current plan be careful what you are praying singing for <laughs> be careful it alters your plan just like me I never wanted to be a pastor and wula look at me here doing what conference planting churches I never, it was never in my dream but since we've locked the door you have to sing it because if you don't say I'll go around I'll say oh yeah, raise it up down in my soul that I can't contain because all the same people they vex they sing up that I can't control I don't want of you God Set a fire in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you. I want more of you.
Raise it up. Set up. on everybody here. And that it will be a story. A story. A story. Something will drop upon your life. The graces upon this house the new. You know, the Lord has blessed us with favor. The Lord amplified our voice. In two years, like what God has done in this house in two years is unfathomable. All the other churches the Lord has planted, and next year, nations yet the sound of heaven. We are going to cover the earth. Now, just imagine a deposit of that anointing upon your life, walking into 2021. 
you are about to contact something. Contact something today. You are, listen, you are going to contact something today. You know, the lady who shared a testimony earlier, this morning, yeah, that I shared with you, and just so you know that God is here. Right in the middle of the meeting yesterday, I told you there were going to be creative miracles. While the message was going on, she had not seen a period for, I mean, she has, I mean, the doctors, you know, say, oh, she probably cannot give birth. She's had, you know, all those challenges. Because for nine months, sometimes she would go for nine months without seeing a period. Eight months. Without seeing a period. No laying of hands. Just while the message was ongoing yesterday. She said she doesn't even want to get into relationships because, you know, she can't even get to one because she knows that, oh, she probably not able to give birth. Just while the word was going on. Just while the word was going on. No laying of hands. Just while the word. The power of God was present to heal. She said she just saw a flow of heavy blood. Nine months she hasn't seen. Don't joke with what is going on here. The new has entered into a new phase. I hope you know. See, when these hands touch your head today, something has come upon you. See, and the things of the spirit, you don't have to feel it. This is the mistake. You don't have to feel it. Something has dropped on you. Now, when we do that, the pastors, once I do that, as you're just going back, and we have to do that very quickly, the pastors would then move around and lay hands on people as the Lord speaks to their heart. And when they do that, some of you, they would lay hands on you and they would give you certain words. Listen to it and write it down. And once that is done, I would call the pastors up again and they would begin to prophesy and speak to people. Words of wisdom, what they will tell you about your future, they tell you about things to come. Some of the things that you thought is only in your parents' church, you see, is, is in the Bible. They will tell you what, oh, there's someone there, you, the specific, you will see. You, come forward, ma, there's something God said, it will confirm it with yourself. Are you ready? Are you ready? You know, I'm thinking, what's the best way for me to do this? Should I just move around or ask people to come forward? I don't want to waste time doing it. The people should come out. All right. So everyone will come out like that. Pastors last. But everybody just what? And so come praying. Just come praying. See, you don't have to feel anything. If the, the Holy Spirit falls on you, fine. You can fall under the power. It was like my hands are laid on you. Just go, just go, just go, and go to your seats praying. And then the pastors, no, I don't even need the anointing oil. I just, just my hands alone. Thank you, Lord. You remember what I taught you yesterday? Raise your hand. You know, remember what I taught you? I said, my hands are what? God's hands. Your hands are God's hands. Say it after me. My hands are God's hands. Today marks the beginning of a new phase for you. Today. Are you ready? Father, you just minister, just worship, just minister. Pray in the spirit, everyone. Listen, please watch this. Do not be a spectator. Remember what the Bible says about Jesus. When Jesus was about to be baptized, he went in praying. He didn't, he didn't go into baptism. Look at this. What's going on here? He went in praying. Channels of my spirit open up.
this destiny must be fulfilled. Something must come upon my life. A new anointing. That's how you do it. Now pray in the spirit, everyone. Pray in the spirit. Let me hear you. Pray in the spirit. Spirit to spirit, lighted by your word. And with your breath of life, and that's how I come alive. That's how I take my word. Oh, 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 oh. Father to child, from your spirit to my spirit, spirit to spirit, lighted by.
name of Jesus, higher than all the names.
Let's do it. In this atmosphere, anything is possible. Expect that something will come upon your life. Listen, things that have stopped working before now, they will start working back quickly. Finances that seems to have ceased, you will begin to see the flow of it. Doors that seem short, they are opening up. Fire of God upon your life, upon your prayer altars, upon your ministry, upon your business. Encounters of God from today. You see, from today, there will be series of encounters. Series of encounters. Be ready. Be ready. Listen, as hands are being laid on you, a seal is upon you. Touch not seal. A seal is upon you. No evil is permitted to happen to you and yours. A seal is now upon you. Every stronghold, every limitation broken. You would have clarity. You will know what to do. You will know what to do. I'm saying that some anointings upon this work, this ministry, the new, is you are going to be a reflection of these graces. Holy are you Lord all created Pastor, who's the pastor who you said you've been saying in your heart, I, I, I wish I could come and help PS just to follow him or all this, all the mic for him. Just if you, if you said that in your heart, please come quickly. Come, any pastor who said that in your heart, quickly come. You're about to enter into something as well. It can be more than one, it's okay. Just stay here.
You are all 
Jesus is in this room and he just wants to walk on people. There's a swift embrace of that Holy Spirit. Be drenched in that grace. I'm telling you, your life can never remain the same again from today. Elohim Adonai ah, 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 ah. Elohim Adonai Elohim Israel Elohim Adonai Jehovah Sabaoth you'll be doing just that I'm going to write that down you can run but you can't hide hallelujah <laughs> hello we madonna hello we miss
Please join them. Resonance, raise your hands. There are songs of the Lord in this choir. Albums and songs of the Lord for a generation. Something is about to explode in resonance next year. Something is about to explode as a ministry and even in their lives individually. This is the least you all will ever be. Resonance. Get ready to work songs, albums, worship meetings, mistress. Thousands of people around the world would gather. The blessing of service and loyalty. Can you hear the sound of heaven? As a sound of many waters. A sound coming from a distance. There are angels all around. The Spirit of God is here, moving to make a glory call. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Karatalaba. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Those that are called to ministry, something is living and dropping on you. The heavens and the angels bow. The redeemed. We worship you now. We sing, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy are you, Lord. Encounters with God. Encounters with God. Yanking out what is not and replacing in with what ought to be there the heavens and angels bow the redeemed they worship you now holy 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 are you lord Support. the Lord of the angels army God is visiting families now families families challenges in your families are disappearing strongholds in families Great. 
Mountain Bottom You are cursing light to shine from darkness. You are breathing over every darkness. You are cursing Jehovah is your name. Covenant keeping God and you covenant keeping God and you are God is establishing his covenant with certain people right now is establishing new covenants with you right now Yes, listen. And you are covenant of prosperity. And Yahweh. Now watch this. You will see that in the days of, in the book of Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Ghost fell, the Bible says they heard a sound. There's something about sounds in the realms of the spirit. And so I'm not going to sing, but the drama is going to play. And you will see how the anointing of the Lord will fill this room now. Just flow, both of you. Just flow with me. day of Pentecost is fully come they were one in one place in one accord and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mountain mighty wind and it filled the whole house in which they were sitting and cloven tongues of fire sat on each
it's okay. We've closed the service. Tomorrow, listen. Okay. Everyone, if you can find a seat. If you're still ministering to people, it's fine. But if you can take a seat. Pastors, please come forward. Pastors, come forward. Just come and stay somewhere here. Yeah. Come forward, Pastor. Just come and stay somewhere here. Yeah. And everyone, take your seat. If the Lord gave you words for people, if the Lord gave you words for people, I just want you to say, so you, some, some of them will point to you, some will be tongues, some would be tongues and interpretation of tongues, diverse kind of tongues, whatever it is. You know, the Lord gave you a prophetic word for somebody. Just sit down, everyone. And you see, you see the speaking of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's, let's take this anointing again to a never. Let's take it up. Oh, Lord, my God. When I'm in heart, some wonder. Consider all, consider all the works that hands have made, works that hands have made. I see the stars, I see, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Take it one more time. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord. When I'm in awesome wonder. Do you love the Lord? Sing and just bask in this love. Thank you, Lord. You know, there is healing taking place right now. Those watching online, there's healing. You know, cancer is disappearing right now. And I'm not just calling any sickness that comes to my head. I'm saying cancer has just disappeared now. Leukemia, leukemia, leukemia. The universe. Now, why not raise your hands? What does your soul sing? Then sings my soul. My Savior, God. How great thou art. Allah, Aya, Arata. in my Savior.
Pastor Bobby, do you want to go first? If you don't mind. Thank you, sir. Um, the first thing that I saw was... Uh, oh, sorry. This is Pastor Obi. She's the senior pastor of the new Lekki. Good evening, everyone. Who's getting blessed? Who's blessed? Yeah. The first thing that I saw was... Um, well, I, I heard the word catalyst, and what God started to say with, to me was that people have been living their lives ordinary. Um, and he used the Spider-Man example. He said, before Spider-Man got bitten by the radioactive, I'm going into my nerdy ways, radioactive um, spider, he was living an ordinary life. But the moment he came in contact with that catalyst, his life never remained the same. And he said, for many people here, you walked in here, ordinary but from tonight you are experiencing the super ordinary he didn't say extraordinary he said the super ordinary he said you will cease to be ordinary from today people have seen you and just felt like have just put you with the others but he says people will begin to single you out because they will start to see that you are super ordinary you are not ordinary um the second thing that i saw was um I actually think it's you. I believe it's you, the lady with the glasses and the hair. What I had seen was, um, I saw your hands. They, 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 so we don't oh. come, so they don't. Oh, sorry, with the, yes. So. Um, I love you, you know your words. It's like, it's me, it's me. <laughs> smart girl. Uh, he said, uh, I saw your, your palm, and it's almost as, as though you like people to play with your palm. And I saw beads on your palm, the hair beads. And um, I saw like you, you've always wanted to learn how to do that. Hood, I think it's called the hula hoop, that thing. And um, I saw your hair packed up. I'm just, I'm giving description so, I'm, so you're sh sure as well. I saw your hair packed up with a red bandana. And so what he said was that, he says, I'm making your life colorful. Um, the, the color that comes with wonder, people see you and, and just wonder. Um, that, that's what I saw that, that is coming into your life and he says what is mine is yours but you also need to make what is yours mine wow. that's what he said um, and then I think it's the, the, the third thing is there's a man here the most recent wedding you went for you wore a blue agbada and a red bead and he said you, you always you feel like you feel like you are poor, you feel impoverished, that the only time you feel like you are someone, yes, you feel like a nobody, but the only time you feel like someone is when you, when you every, every time you have to wear a bada, and so you, you wore one recently. He says, I'm going to elevate you, but this is the but. He says, but you need to learn to be humble. He says, you need to learn to be humble. He said to remind you about the scripture that Jesus, Jesus gave in, I think it's in Luke, where you... You're always looking forward to being at the head of the table, but you should enjoy, and that word that P.S. said about, and if you want the anointing in your life to increase, enjoy the season you are with God, that is for you. That is for you. Um, and then there's, this is the last one. You are actually a macho guy, but you, you sleep, you still sleep with your Bible under your pillow. And he says, I should call you something. He said, I should call you mighty man of valor. He says, you don't feel that way. You still feel afraid. You still feel scared. You know, you still feel like putting your Bible under your pillow is actually protecting you from the demons that you feel are surrounding you. But he says, I should call you mighty man of valor. That you are actually the one he has called. It's, it's, he has called other people, but he says, I should remind you that he has called you as well. That you are not one of those people as it were. That he says he has called you and you are a mighty man of valor. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Toby, let me, let's pass the Toby next. Where is she? All right, she stepped out. All right. Um, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, Pastor Ladi. Hallelujah. Um, okay, so... Uh, Femi, okay, yeah, um, I know I prayed for you, um, 
And God said to remind you that, you know, the way you found yourself in the new, um, one, I'm sure it's something that still surprises you, but here's the thing. God says, if you would open up to me, if you would open up to me and allow me to do what I can do, you would not recognize yourself. You would not recognize yourself. Um, I see that there are doubts in your heart. I see that there are things that, you know, have held you down. You've had experiences. You know, you're, you're, you've been looking for the, the, the right, you've been looking for the right stuff. You've been in search for something. And God said, I brought you here to feed you. And that if you feed on what I'm giving you, if you will feed on it, you will not recognize yourself in months to come. Hallelujah. Jabrana Kalia Rabadosu Sofrenda Kia Ladan de Badi Arabasa Rabaconde Li Aradana Si Prete Tiken Lembranda Radia Ladabano Sofrete Tekelian and Amanda Kalia Rabadasa Rabaco Sufretianda Kalika Pacatoso Copali Ken de Barada Unilag folks, listen, there's something about to come upon you guys in this season. There's something strange about to drop on you. When you are, listen, when you are going back to Unilag, you're not going back the same way. And God is sending you, not just Pastor Debbie, listen, God is sending every single one of you into that, into that land, into Unilag, because there's about to be an eruption. So you see everything that has happened this year with the strike, with everything that has happened, God, 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 God planned, everything was in God's plan, okay? And God says when, I, when you are going back into Unilag, you are going to cause an eruption. And you must go back with that consciousness that something has... You are not the same person again. Hallelujah. You are not the same person again. You are not the same person going back into that campus. Why? Because something is about to erupt on that land. And God is sending each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ibrenda kelia rabado sufrete kele kele lele lele boro doso apaka pakia keke suko pada dalandi arabaka suso prede de de di je pranda kalanda barada da basa kele de di kalabaka suso prede de 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 rabaka lada balada sa Hallelujah Hallelujah There was there was a picture there are two two images that God brought to my mind to to uh, to my heart while we're praying. You know, and so God said there's a difference when it's drizzling and there's a difference when, so if, if, you, if you have a picture of when there's, there's um, flood in Lekki and cars are practically submerged inside the water. And that's what God wants to do for the new in this season. Hallelujah. That's what God wants to do for the new in this season. And we receive that rain upon our house. We receive that rain upon our lives. No more drizzling. It's raining and it's about to, it's, 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 it's more like it's sweeping you away. You are swept in that, in that rain, in that flood. And you're just moving with the flow. Why? And because God wants to indeed direct our paths in this season. So he just needs you to jump in. Just jump in. Once you find yourself there, you are going. And God will just direct your path. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, I said two images, right? Um, sorry. So the picture I saw was there. Were, the, the, it was as though I saw I saw the back of Jesus, wow. and there were so many doors closed. And then he just stood. He didn't do anything. Wow. That was all he did. He stood, and then the light that came busting out from that from those doors was was almost blinding. Hallelujah. The light that came busting forth. He just stood. He didn't do anything. Because what I see was that there are so many locked doors and they represented different things in people's life. But Jesus just came and then he stood. And then the lights that came and we receive that light. And I decree that whatsoever has been shut in your life, whatsoever door has been shut, as Jesus stands in front of that door, they will respond in light in the name of Jesus. You've stood and looked at me over these years. And in recent times, you have been more intentional and in watching very closely. And there's an anointing of God that is about to rest upon you now. And just right as you started talking about Jesus, 
I literally saw Jesus stand before him. And what I saw was Jesus looked into his eyes. And the Bible says his eyes were like fire, like the sun shining in the brightness. And so the possibilities of Jesus has become your possibilities. And so can I congratulate you on the coronation of an anointing of God upon your life. It's somewhat very apostolic as well. Hear the sound of the nations that are calling. And so from this day, and what I saw in the spirit was as though Jesus took him by the hands and started to walk with him. And then I saw the flags of several nations. And if you know me, I'm not trying to cajole anything right here. See, there's an anointing of God upon my life. And let me tell you something, friends. The new, this season, this church is about to experience explosion. We are moving from the phase of gathering to multitudes. That's what the Lord told me. God has given us a generation. And you are a part of that. And that's why I'm saying we always must celebrate what we have. And not only that, let's reach out to people. Come and see what the Lord is doing here. In your churches, in Ibado, in Ife, in Unilag. Reach your community. Let them be a part of this army that the Lord is raising. And I saw him walk with Jesus. And he was pointing at different flags of different nations. Different flags of different nations. And let me show you something. What the Lord, what I saw in the realms of the spirit was as though those flags were hanging like this. And when Jesus does like this, those flags would drop and it would drop on his hands. And it would point like this, those flags would drop and it would drop on his hands. Then it would drop point like this, and those flags would drop and it would drop on his hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To God. Be the glory, great things he shot all Governmental graces. Governmental graces. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come. Oh, come. To the Father, to Jesus, the Son, and give it. Just before we continue with other pastors, if you are here and you know within your spirit that you have a prophetic call. Now, I'm not saying that you are um, you, you, you sense in your heart. I'm not saying that you see visions or those things. I'm saying you sense in your heart that you, you have a dimension of a prophetic call on your life. Please, can you rise quickly? It's not everybody. It's not everybody. Just the ones that know it. Just please rise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Precious Jesus, we so love you. We, we love you. I see the Lord. 
I see the Lord exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. I see the Lord for my eyes have seen for my eyes have seen the king. <laughs> no, Jesus is in this room who reigns. Please shut your eyes, every one of you standing. God just wanted to touch you himself. I see the Lord. I see the Lord, Karatalabaya, exalted high above the worship, yes, Lord, of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. <laughs> I see the Lord. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dear Jesus. The Lord has told you about healing ministry. Rise, please. Healing. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural. About your name.
The Lord is consecrating consecrat people right now to his will and to his word. He touched me. He touched me. And oh, what joy that fills my soul. Something happened. touched me prophets and those who are called to healing ministry the Lord is touching you now and no oh, and what a joy something happened Toby. Casting out of demons is part and parcel of the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as a believer, you must know how to cast out demons. training for you. Images. Some things are caught, some things are taught. So you know how to cast out demons. You shouldn't be fidgeting and running when you see demons. They are meant to be casted out. <laughs> if you're standing, you can sit. of the spirit on your life and um, not too long from now not too long from now God is going to come calling for a return on that investment um, you've seen uh, I, I don't know the exact scripture now but you know how they say um, first the ear then the con you know that um, you've, 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 begin to, you've begun to see or you've begun to see some trickles of this uh, spiritual investment and it's a word for you because uh, maybe it's not your natural you, know, you just don't feel you are that kind of person but um, 
what was invested in you, you might not, you might not even remember when that occurred, but um, it did. And soon, very soon, that investment will take you over. And the ordination that has been reserved from you for you would come calling. And it will amaze you how quickly you would step into that role. It will amaze you because you see, our God, um, he would always prepare you for whatever he's preparing for you. And your preparation is not dependent on how you feel. You might not even feel it. God is just that wise. Sometimes he prepares us in ways that are not really apparent. You know, but you find that when he sets you up and he places you in a particular place and you let go, you find that, oh my God, it's almost like I was born for this. You know, but a lot of times our minds still fight it. But I just really see that for you. So there'll be a return on that investment. Very heavy dealings are coming with the spirit of God. Very heavy dealings. Hallelujah. And then for Pastor Ladi, um, actually when um, we were praying earlier, I saw him kneeling and I saw his eyes open. And I saw before him new gates opened. And you know, I just saw his eyes were shining and he was looking. But then when I saw his eyes were shining, like he, had, he saw something. I don't know. But you see how um, uh, sight, sight. So, so I just see that for you, that there is fresh sight. And that's those things that you would begin to see now, would begin to produce a new and a higher dimension of certain results. Your sight has changed. Your pers- there's been a shift, literally. Okay, there are a couple of people here that I just um, sense. Um, okay. First off, I, 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 I feel... I sense that there, there are some people that God is calling back. God is calling back. And the story of the heart actually is the story of the prodigal son. And um, you see, God says to tell you that the investment, his investment upon your life is too heavy for you to go just like that. <laughs> you can't. Like, I'm sorry. It's almost like, is it by force? It kind of is. Mm. And so God is calling you back. And really, this is not not a threat or anything, but it's just more or less, you know, just um, for your sake and for the sake of um, submit to the dealings. I see people that have aborted seasons seasons of dealings with the spirit of God and so what they want to do is they want to skip past these seasons and kind of jump into the manifestation but God doesn't really operate like that the things that you think he didn't give you or the promises you feel he didn't fulfill you kind of didn't stay the course for him to for you to get it's like you were almost there and you're like oh my god this is not working man this makes no sense and you chose sense In your DNA, that your spiritual configuration, you are not really, you're not to choose sense. And I'm talking to people specifically that are, that are prophetic, that are trying to run. And if, for the most part, most times, it's actually prophets that do the running. A lot of his prophets. Is, I don't know why, but I don't know if it's because of the weight <laughs> or the responsibility or the demands that the office places on you. But um, God is just really beckoning on you to... Um, pay attention to those demands and to stay the course with him. It's a lonely road. It's, it's a lonely road to be very honest, but um, it's going to birth in you and for you things that you could never even imagine. So just stay the course. There's no point. Just, you've been going to just turn back humbly and just go in the direction he wants you to go, whether it makes sense to you or not. If you keep choosing sense, it will take more time, but the truth is, you'll still come back because his investment upon your life would be following you. Like he's following you. And so you, are, you think you're just walking. I'm just staying. I'm just walking. I'm just going. But it's like there's a, it's like there's a stamp. So everywhere you are going, there are doors that cannot open. Not because it's a curse, but you see, 
there are just doors that cannot open until you do the right thing. And this is by this is by virtue of some covenants that you've even caught with God that you've forgotten. You've forgotten. It's like, that, oh. But then the Holy Spirit says he will be bringing it to your remembrance in dreams especially. You would remember. It's going to take you back to those encounters. It's going to take you back. And it's going to birth a fresh sense of, um, of direction. Of further direction. I think that's it, sir. Thank you, Pastor John. Hallelujah. Um, okay, I'll, I'll start with the last one that I saw. Um, when you called, sir, for those who felt called to the prophetic. Um, and those who, called, who felt called to the healing. Um, it seemed as though that, that there were crowns hanging for those people. And as they stood up, it seemed as though they fit, fitted into the crown. And in my um, logical mind, I asked God, I said, why are you crowning prophets? He said, not only kings need coronation. And, and, and that was it. So for those people, I felt led to say to you that it's by that prophetic action that you took in standing up, a new phase began for you. He also, I, I actually saw more crowns than people who stood up. There are some people that, just like Pastor Toby actually just said now, it's like you're running. You can't run too far. David said, if I go to hell, you are there. You're there with me. You can't run from who you are. He called you, shaped you. Your configuration and programming is prophetic. You can't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere. I saw Anne. Um, Anne, it seemed as though, where is she? Anne, all right. It seemed as though you were dancing at the edge. You have tasted of depth. And then you'd be like, ah, let me combine it with this and be balanced. <laughs> Go all in and <laughs> Go all in. In balance, you experience only ankle. In all in, wow. you swim in the way. In balance, you experience only so much. When you go all in, you wow. come out. You, that he fashioned you to be, will come out. I just saw you sit down there and I saw that. Two more images, sir. Um, I saw this altar. Uh, no, not this one. The altars that Pastor Toby talked about. I saw an angel, you know, come out of this altar with a huge sword and he destroyed it and I saw a young lady um, I had prayed for the first person the first lady that I saw I'll describe it now but then God said there are more of them and that I should see this you went back because the altar was broken and you did not know what freedom felt like and so you went crying back trying to put it all back together but it's still going to fall apart. It's still going to fall apart. He said, don't go back. Find new company. Find new company. And in continuation of what Pastor Obi talked about, a man who had experienced a catalyst and had become superhuman. I saw certain people go out of this place and return to their old company. Your old company will try to feel like, make you feel like a chicken when you're actually a lion. So you must, with this catalyst that has come, come to you today, find new company, find new fire, a group of fire so you can burn together. Go and so meet you your pastors and tell your pastors, Pastor, I need new friends. Yeah. They would plug you in. Yeah. And, and the Lord just placed them out. Go and meet your pastors. I need new friends. And then um, uh, the final one, sir, I, as 
as we were praying earlier, it seemed as though I saw people just standing, and then I don't know if it's angelic beings just go, like how robots would do it, just take things out and add. And I asked God what was that? He said he's doing a fixing work in people's lives. In some people, it's a fixing in what was damaged. For some people, it's actually health issues. Um, certain organs, it seemed as though they were damaged by your hands, by your habits, by things you were exposed to. And then in some people, it was actually hereditary. I just heard that one now. It was actually hereditary. But he said it was a fixing work. He just went around, went to this person, took things out, put something back, went to the next one, and it was so just, just all over the place. That's what I saw, sir. And now just because of time, I have to run this quickly with all the pastors, so I, I'll do this. Um, let me go with Pastor Juana first. You know, just let's try and hurry, hurry it up. You know, just pop, so we can close on time. I want to close now. Pop, Hallelujah. Pop. Yeah. So I heard for a lot of us in the house, um, God is bringing us into a season of divine precedence. And what that means is that our examples have been set in front of you today and all through this conference is that you will replicate. So it's as if you have come to a tutorial on how to be taught to step into the abundant life of the Spirit. So you don't want to lose this YouTube video. Hold on to it. And now that takes me to the people online. There's somebody wearing a red shirt. You just stumbled on this meeting and today is your day of encounter. Now, what will happen to you is that the Lord will use you to spread abroad his message of love and light. So when you go to people, something will mark your mind and will mark the mind of the people that whenever you talk to people, they just feel loved. They just feel loved. And what I just saw there is that things that people have been calling psychological and mental will just be solved by you talking to them. Things like depression, things like suicide will just fly away. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And when we're standing, when Pastor Shola was laying hands over there, I was kneeling down, and I saw a chessboard. Now, I can't remember if, if I was, before I knelt down or not. I saw a chessboard, and, and what I saw was something just run across that chessboard. And what I heard in my spirit is that God is about to set you ready for the move. Hallelujah. Set you ready for the move. And someone was talking, and then the Holy Spirit said to me that that thing you saw is a divine segue. And it, the, the word of a, a segue means something that leads to another. One thing leads to another. One thing leads to another. So rapidly, God is just going to move things and checkmate. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Dick and Matthew. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Um, so um, I saw um, two pictures. Um, I, on one side, I saw um, people, laborers, just one laborer to a building and I saw their hearts beating real fast and I um, saw this laborer singing songs of consecration to God, you know, I heard songs like I give myself away, you know, I surrender all to you and they were actually laying blocks, you know, putting the cement, laying the blocks and um, I was asked to turn around 360 and I did and I saw on this other side, um, buildings made with gold, you know, burning, but they were not consumed, you know, and I heard God say that these guys are not supposed to be doing what they are doing, and an instruction followed, which I would like us to do, you know, deliberately, these guys are not supposed to be doing this, they are not supposed to be doing this, this is their reality, this is who I want them to be. This is who I want them to be, you know. I saw people singing songs of consecration. And I, I, I saw myself, you know, shouting and raising my voice. And I saw familiar faces and I was shouting at the top of my voice. Like, Guys, what are you doing? What exactly are you doing? What exactly are you doing? This is it. This is the real deal. What exactly are you doing? You know, but unfortunately, those guys couldn't hear me. You know, but God told me, you know, to calm every raging heart here this evening. So we are just going to do this. Um, you come to church. You sing songs of consecration. 
but your reality outside of church is different. You try to do every other thing aside what God, you know, mm. is wow. asking you to do. You know, so I just saw us place our right hands on our chest and with our left hand lifted up. And I saw her say that I am the building whose builder is God. Mm. And I'm just going to say you. that three times. You know, and every raging storm, every sea that is not calm will be still. As wow. you say, it's in the name of Jesus. Come on. So, church, I just want to say that the sound, at the count of three, one, two, what are we three. Saying? I am the builder whose builder is God. I am the building whose builder is God. Right. I am the building yeah, whose, whose builder, builder is God. God. Hallelujah. So, I saw people go back to their closets, go back on their knees to rearrange their lives, to recommit to God. Praise the Lord. All right, I have to run fast now. Um, so, uh, you know, this is like a confirmation. I've, I've heard this when three people were speaking now. And just when the Kimat spoke, talked about people going back to their closets. But there is a, there's a facilitation that needs to happen, you know, for, for that to occur. Where, you know, your, your devotional life receives life. All right? And, and what needs to happen is that hands need to be laid on you. You know, so I didn't want us to, you know, miss that. Just immediately said it, I felt like, okay, this is the time to inject this. So if you're one of those people, you came here with a desire in your heart for a fresh altar, a devotional. So please, uh, we're going to lay right hands after on you the, that. After the service is over, we just wanted to come forward so we can close the meeting. Specifically, those that came with, you came that... I'm tired. I'm tired of my spiritual life. I'm tired of my devotional life. I need fresh fire. Please don't leave the service without receiving that. Uh, Praise advantage. the Lord. All right. Um, Pastor, Pastor Debbie. Thank you, sir. Um, I have a word for Tunde TNT. And um, God asked me to who's read. Who is Tunde TNT? Who is he? That black guy there. Okay. He God said, praise the to, Lord. <laughs> God asked me to read Zechariah 3 over you. So, Nidia, can you help me? Zechariah 3. His heart is beating faster. Hey, what do they want to say about me now? He's my guy, so I Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord. And hmm. Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. Next verse, please. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a brand plucked from the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and was standing before the angel. Then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you, and I will clothe you with rich robes. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head, and they put the clothes on him, and the angel of the Lord stood by. And the, then the angel of the Lord admonished Joshua, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, If you will walk in my ways, and if you will keep my command, then you shall also judge my house and likewise have charge of my court. I will give you places to walk among those, among these who stand here. I'll just stop there um, um, for, for now. But, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a chapter that the Lord would want you to go and sit with. And he's saying to me to say to you that you are in this place of, um, it's not even fear. It's almost inability to enter into a consecration with God because um, you can't seem to see the reality that you think 
you should have in that dimension of God. But he's saying that this is your reality. That if you can dare to walk with him in the places that he has, in, the, in your quiet places, told you to walk in, that he will make you just like this scripture. Wow. Glory to God. And I, thank you, sir. And I saw about her, I just want to con reconfirm what Pastor Obi said about God saying, what is mine is yours, but what is yours has to be mine. I saw that she had wrapped, you know, a piece of clothing or something, ready to give it to someone, but she was holding back. And God is saying that you are a man of means. That test is a test of the level that he wants to take you to. And that he's requiring that you consecrate your, your things to, for your things to become his. Glory to God. Lastly, um, I know this word is for you. Um, God is saying that he has his eyes very strongly on your marriage. And that um, it's not just even your, your marriage. He, you have been called to the, mar um, to, the fam to the mountain of famine. And I saw you bring out gems, you know, from a, from a dark corner. But as you were bringing out the gems, you were looking at them laughing and then putting them back in a sack. And God is saying that um, you can't be, you can't be um, afraid. No, afraid is not the word. You can't be, you can't be afraid. Let me use the word afraid of the depths that I'm showing you, so much so that you will hide them. There are people who are currently in, under the oppression of the enemy because you are hiding those gems. As you brought out those gems, they, the gems leach your face up, but you, you're putting them in the sack, you know? And, and I, I, just, I just sense that very strongly for you. Lastly, sir, sir, hello, sir, yes. You're, you're sent to the mountain of economy and I saw you dip your hands in people's pockets and pull out money that they had, they had squeezed, you know, and, and, and kept inside, you know. And God is saying that he's going to use you to create a solution in this country, in the financial industry that would um, expose corruption, right? It would make it impossible for corruption to happen. Hallelujah. All right. She said she had a confirmation with that as well for you. Um, just thank you, Lord. Now, this is for people who are in the tech space. Um, 2021 is going to be an avalanche of tech opportunities. Tech, I'm telling you, tech opportunities. And the Lord said to me that he's going to raise multi-millionaires in the new with tech. And see... There's someone here. You have Allah She Festi Kafatal God gives you ideas, tech ideas, creative ideas, but you talk about it too quickly. You're telling people about it too quickly. And just because it's in the test phase doesn't mean you should go about talking, 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 talking. And so sometimes it's almost as though you see your ideas replicated. And now here was the word of the Lord is saying to you. There are going to be divine solutions that would be coming for tech, 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 people in tech. God is going to be sort dropping solutions, solutions. And I saw into the realms of the spirit that 2021, the, one of the biggest economies in Nigeria would be in that tech sector. And the Lord wants to give you a portion of it. And so there are ideas that would drop in your spirit. There are wisdoms that would drop in your spirit. Now, some of you are currently working with other tech companies, but in your heart, you know that you ought to own your own. And God is saying in 2021 is going to, this is how it's going to happen for some of you. You're still going to be working with people, but the Lord would have given you your own. And in just a matter of time, you are in that. See, let's, let me just put it out of the days. There would be people who are going to represent what people will be called Mark Zuckerberg and things like that in this, in the new, who would carry that capacity, who would carry that capacity. Tech ideas are coming. Listen, don't doubt them. Run with it. 
Now, there's someone here, this connects with you. You have an idea, but you've kept it inside because you feel like you need money to get it done. God doesn't need your money. Why are we trying to be bankers for God? God doesn't need, what God needs is vision. Once he gives you vision, money comes. So God is saying, don't keep it. You have been keeping the idea when I gather money. Once I walk a little bit more, I will gather money and do it. It might be too late. There's timing with God. Do it now. Did I speak to somebody? Now I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice who is in the tech space. Let that distinguished anointing rest upon them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, give them that new idea and that financial support required to execute the visions of the Lord. And in the name of Jesus, let 2020 be a massive year for them. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Listen, another word, those in the health sector, health sector in Nigeria, a lot of hope has been dashed. Many people who are called to this place will rather relocate. And it's okay to do that if you feel the Lord leads you to do that. But I believe that in 2021, there needs to be a collage between the health sector and the tech and the Lord will begin to give ignorant and unlearned men and women certain ideas in the health sector, solutions in the health sector that you will need to take and find partnership. Listen, 2021 is the year of partnership. Let me say it again. You might not get what I'm saying, but 2021 is a year of partnership. It's not a year where, you know, the Bible says one will chase a thousand, two will chase ten thousand. You must learn how to collaborate bring the two together praise the lord praise the lord thank you lord i remember um some last year i think in mark no no last year towards the end of the year doing Gethsemane. if you can remember some of you who listen to my messages a lot and by the way you should i remember that i started <clears throat> talking about how in 2020 2020 I remember a prophetic word that I gave that there would be a shift in the legal system and the judicial system in Nigeria, you know, and I, I didn't even know that it was some of the things that happened later part of this year. Um, I remember also that towards the last end of the year in 2020, I, 2019, pardon me, I, I was pre preaching in church on a Tuesday and I announced that um, dollar was going to rise were you in church that day? If you remember, I said dollar was going to rise and boom, you can see that now. Now, hear this, the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Two, two of this. The financial system of Nigeria is about to crash. It's about to crash. May the Lord put you into your spirit the investment you need to make. I won't say more than that. May the Lord put into your spirit the investment you need to make. Don't go and drop money in a bank or in something because everybody is opening um, diamond plus, plus, plus. Or triple, you know, they can come up with different things. There's a shaking going on. And I saw into the realms of the spirit. Some, some, some are literally hanging like a thread. You don't know that. It's until it happens you see that. May the Lord give you wisdom of these times. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, another set of people that I want to put you speak over. Thank you, Lord. Some of you, you are currently doing a business totally different from what the Lord wants you to do. Passion does not always bring money. Sometimes. I'm passionate. Is Dangote passionate about cement? My passion in life is cement. We do what God wants us to do. Who was preaching about medicine? There was either Pastor Debbie or Pastor that if some people with medicine and they say, oh, they want to study medicine or something, you know. You do what God wants you to do. Now, hear this. In 2021, 
there is a portal that is opened as we were praying. And hear this, everyone, please. Two portals, and I saw in the realms of the spirit. Number one, real estate. Number two, agriculture. In 2021, watch that space. When the portals open for you to invest in that place, take it. You know, sometimes when you hear the voice of your prophet, it gives you direction. In December, when I started talking about dollar was going to increase, I told a lot of people, I told some of my friends, I said, the Lord told me dollar is going to increase. At that time, dollar was still 300 and something or so. I said, what, what was it? Three something at that time. I said, God told me that dollar is going up. God told me. God told me real estate, agriculture. There are hidden wealth for you there. May the Lord bring the opportunity your way. You won't be running up and down looking for it though. The Lord of your fathers will bring it to you. Praise the Lord. Creative businesses, and when I mean creative businesses, I'm talking about media, arts and entertainment. 2021 is a year of big, big, big things in media space. Some of you have movies on your inside, short plays on your inside, productions. You have been saying you will do it for, for eight years. You have even written the scripts. I'm talking to some of you. You've written the play. When you were in secondary school, you are still looking at it. 2021. Go and do it. Let's just be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, yeah, this last one. Thank you, Lord. This one is hard. But I'll say it. It's hard. Nations will open up their gates. Don't shout here too. Because... Once Nigerians hear, nations will ah, amen. amen. Once they, they won't even know the prayer point. Say, nation, they say, that, you know what I was talking about before? They would have been bouncing. Give it to me. No, 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 no. But new policies will be made. Move by the Spirit. I don't want to say more than that. Move by the Spirit. God knows the beginning from the end. He knows the end from the beginning. Move by the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord. And final thing, if the Lord... <laughs> the Lord told me, and I'm not a feminist, and I don't, you know, want to even get into that conversation of feminism, da-da-da-da-da. But the Lord told me that 2021 is a year of the rise of female voices. I'm telling you, the rise of female voices. It's going to be so strong in 2021. They would lead biggest corporations in this nation. They would lead churches. They would lead businesses. It would be an unusual grace upon their life. You see, 
Whenever God wants to do anything, the devil has a way of perverting it. And that's why sometimes when you see all this feminism theme, it's, not the, it's the devil trying to pervert what God has started to do. So I want to pray for every woman in the new. I pray for you today with this tangibility of this anointing that you would find your place. The grace of God would stamp upon your life and every mountain of influence that you represent God would raise you there in the name of Jesus your voice will be amplified and your voice shall not be silent in the name of Jesus praise the Lord